Oh, look at that. Hi, welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Today we are going to make a hearty chicken and veg pie. It's the same chicken and veg version of our hearty soup. But we are going to use a hearty soup inside ready-made pastry to make a very quick pie within about 17 minutes. You can't go wrong and we're going to do it in the air fryer. It's really simple and all we're going to do is make up our chicken and hearty veg soup mixture as our filling and then we're going to fill a pie dish with some ready-made pastry. It's that easy. Let's show you how to do it. Come on. Okay, so we got the old bog standard pan to the pan. Some heat. And then we want to be going in with some butter. And a little touch of oil. Not much, just a little bit. Because what we want to do, we want to be frying off our onions and our garlic. So we get that melted up in there. And what we need to be doing, we need to be going in with our garlic. Get our garlic in. And we can even throw our onions in. Easy recipe. Let's not make it complicated. Let's make it tasty. I'm not adding salt to this. The reason for I'm not adding salt, I'm using my soup powder mixture. Now, if you've not seen my recipe for that, I'll put a link up here. And there'll be a link in the description how to make this. This I make wherever I go around the world and I shove it in the cupboard. It is one of the most used store-bought items in my pantry. It's so adaptable, you can use it in soups, curries, whatever, in pasta. It's a must in my kitchen. Now, I don't use salt, but I'm going in with a generous pinch of black pepper. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add just a little sprinkling of dry thyme. That's going in now. And that'll give the time for that time to rehydrate. Okay, we want to be sliding our potatoes in there. Get those in. And we can even go in with our diced carrots. Now, did I say this is a simple recipe? I'm sure I did. This is really simple. So that started off our veg in there. Now what we need to do, we need to be going in with some chicken stock. And we want that chicken stock to come up above the level of the potato. So if you're using a small pan, you know, it'll come up quite easily. I've got about, what's one of these? I've got a pint or just over half a litre of stock in here. So bring that up to a boil. I mean, we can put a lid on, help it come up there. Oh, that's coming up to the boil. That's what we're looking for. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to turn this down and we're going to simmer this. We want to simmer for about 10 minutes only till we get those potatoes nice and soft. Because don't forget, we're using cooked chicken and it all comes together very quickly. So we just turn that down. We're going to simmer for 10 minutes. Okay, that's been about 10 minutes. Let's get that lid off there. In with our frozen peas, pop them in. Right, now what we need to do is just let this come back up to that simmer boil again before we add our soup powder. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to dump our chicken in there. Okay, now whether you use chicken or turkey, anything like that, 
we want it in that pan. Now again, you can use as much meat as you want. In it goes. Oh, that looks fabulous. I mean, come on, look at the colours in that pan. Superb. A winter warmer at best. Okay, now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be going in there with about five tablespoons of our soup powder. Now, don't be frightened of putting it in. We are turning this into a creamy chicken soup. Then all we got to do is work it in so it doesn't stay lumpy. And it won't stay lumpy, it will all dissolve in there, you know, with enough fluid in there. Just bring it in, it'll take, it'll take on all that fluid, it'll loosen up eventually. And we're going to end up with a really thick cream of chicken vegetable soup. Oh, just look at that! Right, we got this little ready rolled here. And what we need, we need to take out for the lid. Okay, now we want to be going something like that. So we want to come just a little bit over the size of the lid. Okay, so we're going to come somewhere like that. So nice and steady. Let's turn that around there so you can see. We need to be taking that just a little bit more than our pie dish because we want that little bit of an overhang on there so that's our lid so the rest of the pastry which I can just cut across there and cut across there we are going to use as our pastry inside our tin now all we need to do is butter out this tin because we don't want that to stick in there so I'll take a little corner of this off. We got some butter. We want a little bit of butter on there. So that's it. An easy job. And what we're trying to do is grease out the tin so it doesn't stick inside. So all we need to do now is take our pastry off there. So we need to work it in the tin. And then we might need to stretch it back up. But we've got to get it in the bottom first. So nice and easy in the bottom of that tin. So that is our base for our soup mixture or our filling. So all we need to do now is fill that. So let's fill that up with our chicken soup veg mixture and don't forget when you make your own pies fill the pie all we need to do now is rub a bit of milk around there so we don't have to go too bananas but nice and steady so take our pie top and dump our pie top on there. Now my pies, I like to put a crusty on it. So we're going to take that and we're going to fold it over like that. Just fold it in. That bit we don't want. There's too much overhang. Boom, gone. So we'll just get rid of that overhang so we can just keep working all the way around. Okay, we don't need that. So just fold over and tuck under. Fold over and tuck under. That's all we're doing. Now it is going to create a seal on here as well. So all we're doing is folding it over and tucking it under. Okay, so we got this lovely pie already with a half crimped edge. Now, usual two fingers one finger crimp out your pie
Right, what we're going to do first, we're going to milk wash it first before we actually put the holes in. Because sometimes I've noticed that if you put holes in, milk wash it all sticks together. So let's milk wash it first. So on the top there with our milk wash, preheat your air fryer. Mine's preheated. Now what we're going to do, we'll put a couple of slits in the top of here. So I'm going to put three in actually. There we go. That pie is ready to go in the air fryer. So straight in the air fryer basket. And then that goes back in the air fryer 180 for about 17 minutes. Oh, boom! Oh, are you kidding me? Look at that! That is amazing! Right, we've got to get that out there, put it on the side, let it cool down for about 10 minutes. And then we might have a dig in, or we might just look at it. It's fantastic. Okay, so let's get it out. Oh, it's time to serve up some of this pie. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think we're going to just have to come in here. Come down there. Well, we know what the chicken filling's like. The chicken filling's superb. Oh, and that bit of pastry with that filling. Oh. <laughs> now, if you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. We'll catch you in the next video.